In this lesson, I will be introducing you to crypto trading and some of the important trading terms you should understand to be able to trade effectively. Cryptocurrency trading involves buying and selling of cryptocurrencies. A few people look at trading and investment from different perspectives, like trading is being more active while investing is more of a long-term bargain. Whatever the opinion is, trading and investing can be used loosely as exchanging something for another. So when you are trading, you are investing, and when you invest, you have traded something for another. According to how one trades, one can be called a scalper if one aims at catching small moves in the market, a day trader if one aims at opening and closing trades daily, a swing trader if one trades over a swing high and low of the market, or a position trader if one trades over a long term period of time. There are different forms of markets to be traded in crypto, and we categorize them into two, namely, spot market and leveraged market. The spot market is the most friendly market to trade in crypto because it involves no leverage. Leverage has to do with borrowing money to inflate your trading capital. When you do not borrow money to trade, you will not face the risk of liquidation since you are trading with your capital. If a coin is trading at a dollar and you invest $100 in that coin, you will get 100 coins. Now, if the price of the coin drops by 100%, you will still have 100 coins. The dollar value has gone to zero, but you still have your 100 coins because you paid for it in full. If the market goes back up, your coins value will reappreciate to what it was previously and possibly give you profit if it goes above your entry price. So when you run no risk of losing the coins you bought, it is a low risk investment. You just have to pick good crypto projects, invest in them, have sufficient patience and you will realize profit as more people adopt the project and invest money in it. Spot market is the zone of most crypto millionaires. In our premium signal forum, we will teach you how to become a spot market millionaire with the signals we will be providing for you there. The second kind of market is the leveraged market. There are different forms of leverage markets such as derivatives, margin, options, leverage token. One thing that underlies each of them is that it involves borrowing money to accelerate one's profit. But because you borrowed money to trade, you run a risk of getting liquidated. Let me try to explain liquidation in a layman's term. If you have $100 and you leverage 10x, it means your capital has grown from $100 to $1,000, which is 10 times your original capital. It also means that with every movement in the market, your money is growing 10 times or reducing 10 times. To know at what point you will lose your capital, divide your capital by your leverage. In our example, $100 divided by 10s leverage will give you 10. So if the market drops by 10%, you will lose your $100. That is what is called liquidation. Exchanges use this measure to ensure you only lose your $100 and not their $900 they borrowed to you. So the higher the leverage, the easier it is to lose money. My advice to you is to ensure you understand technical analysis, master proper risk management before you try leverage trading. Otherwise, stick to the spot market and you will not have a lot of problems. Now, some people love leverage trading because of the possibility of realizing a lot of profit very quickly. So, we will not deny you the knowledge. There are ways to engage in leverage trading without having to easily get liquidated and that is what our leveraged trading training would take you on. Let's continue with the terms. Market and limit orders are the two major kinds of orders in trading. Other forms of orders are derived from these two. When you use market order, you want to buy at the current market price. Your order will be executed immediately. When you use a limit order, you want to buy at a future price. Your order will be filled when the market gets to the price you set. Floating loss and floating profit refers to the unrealized loss and profit of an ongoing trade. When you open a trade, if you are winning the trade, you will have floating profit. If the trade is going against you, you will have floating loss. 
Stop loss is a feature that helps you save some part of your capital by closing a losing thread with a certain percentage of loss according to your instruction. Take profit is a feature that helps you do the opposite. It is the price point at which your thread closes in profit. That's that for this lesson. In the next one, we will look at how to thread the spot market on Binance.